Hi, kindergarten. Today in math, we're going to be talking about using a new strategy with subtraction. And we're going to think about an old strategy that we used when we were learning about addition called the counting on strategy. So let's go ahead and review the counting on strategy with addition. I'm going to show you an example of this. So we learned that 6 plus 4 equals, to use the counting on strategy, we would grab the larger number, and the larger number in this case is 6, so everybody go 6, and then we count it on, and we count it on this many. So let's grab 6, 6, and then we're going to let out 4 more, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then we found out where sum would be number 10. So I'm going to put down a 10. So when we're talking about subtraction, we're taking something away. So I'm going to teach you today about how to use the counting on strategy with subtraction because the counting on strategy is a pretty comfortable strategy for you to use and you're getting really good at it. So now I want to show you how to do that with a subtraction problem. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and erase my board and I'm going to show you a couple of examples of this. So let's take the example, instead of 6 plus 4, let's take the example 6 minus 4, okay? So the first thing we want to think about is, if you don't know this answer right away, you could use materials, you could draw circles, and you could cross out 4, you could draw 6 circles and cross 4 out, or you could use the counting on strategy, okay? So today we're going to use the counting on strategy, so we're not going to be drawing any pictures we're going to be thinking about how to use that strategy correctly, okay? <clears throat> That's the tricky part. When you use a new strategy, you want to make sure you use the, the correct digit first when you're using the counting on strategy. So in this example, 6 minus 4, you're actually going to be starting here with number 4, okay? Because the act of subtraction is taking away. So we're going to actually go backwards, and that's going to be really different. It's going to be like the opposite of reading, okay? We usually go from the left to the right, but for the counting on strategy with subtraction, we're going to go from the right to the left, okay? That's crazy, isn't it? So we're going to be counting up to find out what is the difference between these quantities, okay? Four, four and six. So we're going to start here, and I'm going to write the word start. We're going to start with this number 4. So instead of grabbing the big number, whatever number is here is what we're going to grab. Okay? So we're going to start here, and we're going to go this direction, and we're going to do the same counting on strategy we did in addition. So let's grab number 4 with our hand, 4, and then we're going to count up until we get to this number. 4, good job, 5, 6. And I ended up with how many? That's right, two! And two is going to be my difference for my subtraction problem, so I'm going to write my two over here. So we always want to stop when we get to this number, and whatever number we end up at, we're going to write it over here. Okay? Let's try it again. I'm going to give you a new equation, and we're going to try that strategy out again. Let's try eight minus two. Let's try that one. So remember, when we're counting on, in subtraction, we're going to start with the second number. We're going to start here. We're going to work backwards. Okay? We're going to grab this, this number, and it happens to be the smaller number. So that's something that's kind of tricky in the strategy. But once you get down, you're going to do great. So let's grab this number, and then we're going to count on until we get here and see how many that is. Okay? I have a feeling I'm going to have to put my board down for this one. Grab your two. Everybody go. Ready? Two. Now we're going to count two. We're going to count one until we get to eight. Ready? What comes after two? Three, four, five, six, seven. I need another hand. How many do I have so far? Hmm. Eight. Ooh! Five plus one more is, that's right, six. And 6 is going to be our difference for this subtraction problem. 8 minus 2 equals 6. So I still read it from the left to the right. And when I use the counting on strategy, I work backwards. How crazy. Sometimes math can be so crazy. Huh? But once you understand it, basically what we're doing 
is we're trying to figure out what is the difference between a 2 and an 8. How many numbers, how many quantity in between there? It's 6. That's the difference between 2 and 8. Because 8 is 6 more than 2. Okay? Wow. Okay, let's try one more. <clears throat> and then you're going to try a few on your own. Okay? Let's try one more. Let's try... Why don't we try a really tricky one? You want to try a really hard one? I, you seem like you might be ready. All right, let's try... How about 10 minus 7? Ooh, getting bigger numbers here. Now, which number am I going to start on with the counting on strategy? That's right, this one. I'm going to start with my 7. This is where I start. I'm grabbing number 7, and I'm going to count on until I get to 10. I'm going to figure out what is the difference between these numbers. 7, 8, 9, 10. Whoa, it's 3. There's only 3 amounts to, from 7 to get to 10. Wow, that's pretty awesome. That was quick. We solved that really quick. If we went backwards and we took 7 away from 10, it might take a little bit longer. So the counting on strategy sometimes can be really quick and efficient. Okay. Now I'm going to try to give you a few examples, and I'd like you to try them at home. So please take out your wipe-off board if you haven't yet, or a piece of paper. And I'm going to write down a few examples. I'd like you to write them on your board. Okay. So the first one is going to be 8 minus 3. Go ahead and write that down on your board. Good job. Okay, now, draw a line underneath of 3, because that's where we're going to start when we use our counting on strategy, remember? And you can even draw an arrow going to the 8. So that makes you remember that you're going to grab the 3, and you're going to count on until you get to 8 to find out what your difference will be. Go ahead, let's do this one together, and then I'll give you a few more to do so that you can complete them and turn them into your teacher using the counting on strategy. Okay? Let's grab the three. You ready? Three. And we're going to count on until we get to eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. What did we end up with? That's right, five. I always know when my fingers are out all the way on my hand, it's five. Okay, five would be my difference in this case. I'm going to give you a couple more equations here to solve, and I would like you to solve these next two, and then use this strategy, take a picture of it, and send it into your teacher today. Okay? Here's the next one. 7 minus 4. Go ahead and write that one down. Okay, I'm going to give you one more. 9 minus 6. Okay, go ahead and try to use the counting on strategy with these two equations. Take a picture of your solution and send it into your teacher today. I hope you had a wonderful time learning the counting on strategy with subtraction in math, and I'll see you soon in math groups. Bye!